Hi, I'm Laura, and we're at the Glass House in Pomona, and we're here to see Newfound Glory play live. And later on, we'll have an interview with one of the band members. We've had a lot of them. We've been very fortunate for that. 
I think one of the biggest things early on in our career was just getting a record deal. Um, even before that, just leaving like Florida. Like we've, we've always had goals for us, which has been good. And we have, you know, really like, or we, we had dreams, big dreams of getting to this part. But before that, it, it was things like, let's just get out of Florida. Let's go play a show in California one day. Let's, you know, try to play at this club or that club. And slowly but surely we got all that stuff. But I guess highlights would include, you know, we have three gold records here in the U.S. We have gold records from various other countries. We've been all over the world practically. So I've been to Japan a couple times, Australia, Europe. We're going back to Europe this February. I've been to like 49 out of 50 states. And, you know, when you add up all the stuff over the 10-year career, it's we sold millions of records. It's amazing. And I think one of the biggest things right now as a highlight is that we're still doing this after 10 years. And so many bands that we grew up listening to are no longer here, or even bands that started after we started that can't have already come and gone. So, you know, it's just awesome that we get to keep, keep doing this. Yeah. Are you happy with how your fans, other people label you? Um, yeah, I think so, because I think one of the cool things about us is that throughout the entire career of our band, we've always been very true to ourselves, and we've never been like a band to kind of get behind costumes or get behind a shtick. Like, our shtick is that we're just normal dudes that are in a band, and it's our music that really does the speaking. So I think our fans, or especially our true fans, like they really know who we are and they, they know, you know, what our music is. And it's like, they can label it kind of whatever they want. When they come to shows, they sing every single word and the lyrics really, you know, they, they identify with the lyrics. And so we know our, our music's hitting through them. It's like labels and stuff, we, we definitely understand that people have to label music or you at least have to like reference something to like tell somebody what, what music sounds like. And you can't expect everybody to always label you the same thing. I think as long as people give you the chance, you know, we're pretty happy with that. Okay. Do you have any advice you want to give teens who are just starting out a band? Um, yeah, I mean, we get asked that question all the time. I wish that we had, like, a step-by-step, -step, you know, instruction guide on how to, to get popular. But, you know, the biggest thing is you got to make sure that you're serious about what you want to do. Music is a fun hobby, but if you really want to take it to this level, it's going to take a lot of work. And then I think one of the things that we always try to suggest to kids is, it's kind of how we came up. It's the whole DIY ethic. Like, there's no better person to promote your band than yourself, especially in the beginning. You can't really rely on other people. You need to go out there. You need to like promote yourself. Try to get everybody you know to listen to you. Try to get them to spread your music to people and go play shows anywhere you can. You know, you really have to do that groundwork, and it'll help you out later if you if you establish like a good fan base that way. Do you have anything else you want to say to your fans out there? Um, well, we're actually, like, we're wrapping up this tour right now, Census Failed, it's been really awesome, going around the whole country, and taking the holidays off, and we're going to Europe pretty soon, just continuing, keep continuing the tour, but next year we're going to have another record that we're going to do, so hopefully people can go get that, um, you know, it's awesome that people have gotten our last record from the Screen Your Stereo Part 2, and the reaction to those cover songs have been really awesome live, so, uh, you know, we're just very, very appreciative of everything that our fans do and they're the ones who keep us here so it's cool that we're you know continuing to do this and we'll keep doing this as long as we can so look for us on the road look for our records anything you can thank you thank you um, have a good night mm -hmm.